Dear Grandfather. Dear Fritz. Dear Grandpa. I don't know if you'll ever get this letter, but it has been about 15 years since you left us. I know I was just one of about 25 grandchildren you've had, but I believe that if you were here, we would have been close. Since I was little, when you died, I don't remember much of who you were. There is a character of you that I build up in my head when I think of the man I call my grandfather, but there are so many blanks to the many questions I never got to ask you. I may not know much about who you were or how you lived your life, but that doesn't mean I don't want to know more. My mom told me once that you left us a box of your belongings in your will. She said that we keep it in my dad's closet upstairs behind his coats. Among the items in the box, some were quite telling of who you were. Sorting through this box, I felt like I was looking at a completely random assortment of things. Things that have no story or meaning to me other than what they physically are, like the Boy Scout manual and your yearbook. <laughs> For me, unfortunately, I can't remember memories I never experienced. But luckily, I know a few people who can. So my dad was always, uh, in my mind, a man who was ahead of his time. This was back in the 1960s, and we he raised us with a very healthy eating habits and, and a very healthy diet and at the time I didn't appreciate what he was teaching us. Uh, we had no white sugar in our house. We sweetened things with honey. We ate vegetables we grew in the garden and then canned to hold us over the winter. But my dad um, always had us eating very healthy and one of the things that he was quite passionate about is he had gotten books and read up on a lot of herbs and one in particular was garlic and he was very strong on eating garlic and he ate garlic every day and um, everybody thought he was a little bit crazy. I remember he would often <laughs> smell of garlic because he ate so much of it. So I always appreciate the fact that he took such care to teach us about um, health and nutrition and just having a healthy body image um, before it was even something popular and, and he never cared what people thought. Of Alongside all these stories come your photos, of which you have very many and I'm sure were very important to you. There's a lot of weirdly morbid pictures in here. There's a few pictures of gravestones. This picture in particular is a picture of the, the marketplace in Nuremberg. It's where... Um, my grandmother would go and do her weekly shopping. And um, there's this weird picture. Uh, this one is of uh, a man dissecting another man. Um, and this is another one. It's it's really a, just a kind of a aerial view of the marketplace in Nuremberg. To better understand who you were, I decided to recreate the only picture I have of us together. This picture was actually taken right here. It's just that the house has changed over time and uh, the door is still there but the other door next to it is moved to uh, behind me back here. When I began this letter I felt as if you were a stranger that I built up in my head to be something to the tune of Superman. Now as I sort through your memories and the objects and the faces of the people you treasured I realized that in a way you were Superman. I don't know if you're there or if you can hear me, but I love you and I'm proud to call you my grandfather. With love, Rachel.